what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The state of Oklahoma will soon execute its prisoners using nitrogen or any other gas agent as the state cannot acquire the drugs needed for lethal injection. State officials announced that they are working on developing and finalizing new protocols which would see inmates suffocate to death by inhaling gas. Damn, America. Ooh, wait, man, boy, we be on saying that. Murder, murder, America. Man, is this, I, I'm just wondering from the outside looking in, because us who live here in America, we understand what's going on. But for a long time, people on the outside have viewed America as a civilized nation. And I'm just wondering, with all of the cop murders, the murdering cops, all of the hate crimes, the lethal injection stuff, I'm wondering how do people who live outside of America view America now? For my international subscribers, let me know. How do y'all see America now? Do y'all still see America as that beacon of hope, that place of refuge? Let me know. Let me know. Drop, drop me a comment, man. Tell me how do you see us now, today, in 2018. Here's my position on the death penalty. I am totally against it. Not because I don't think criminals who commit certain violent acts should be murdered. It's because it's too flawed. There's been too many cases where people have been exonerated, have, been, have had their sentences commuted because of insufficient evidence or because the person uh, DNA proved that they were not guilty or people have confessed, other people confess. I mean, th there's just a number of variables out there for uh, cases being commuted or people being totally exonerated. A lot of times they commute you. If you're on death row, a lot of times you get commuted because the state don't really want to admit that they were all the way wrong. So they'll kind of make a deal. Well, we ain't going to just free you. Uh, because we're not sure that you did it, but we're not sure that you didn't do it. Or we're sure you didn't do it, but to save face, how about we just commute your sentence to a life sentence? We ain't going to kill you but we'll give you life. And uh, is that cool? So that's how they do it. So you gotta know the game. I, if it's, if you gotta think or look at it like this. If they have a certain amount of people, so many people being exonerated and that are coming off a of death row because they were proven to be not guilty Imagine all of the ones who have been executed, who didn't have the means of, uh, to meet the means to defend themselves, the money or the high profile case, you know, the lawyers who decided to step in and take the case, uh, uh, pro bono. Hey, to those type of lawyers out there, man, those Justice Warriors, man, thank you, thank you, thank you for your service. I know you don't get enough thanks unless, you know, it's coming from the person that you're actually helping. But, man, we see y'all. We see the work that y'all do, and we appreciate it. Because it is a lot of people out there caught up in the so-called justice system who are, quite frankly, innocent. Uh, a whole lot. Now, some of y'all who feel like it don't apply to you and you'll never get caught up, and it's not going to happen to your people. You're heartless. Uh, they say they did it, 
the state say they did it, they were found guilty, that's enough for you. And you don't mind if they get killed. You don't mind if you don't mind if uh, innocent people are jailed. You don't mind. In your mind, well, as long as it ain't happening to me and mine, and they're keeping me safe, that's fine. Do whatever you want to them. It's all fun and games till it happened to you. I get it. Even if I was for the death penalty, I don't see the need to ever use gas. You simply put them into an airtight booth until they use up all of the available oxygen. They don't gasp for air because they're able to breathe normally. They simply slip into unconsciousness and after a certain amount of time, they die because of lack of oxygen to the brain. Simple. No dangerous chemicals, no frying people's organs with electricity, no companies refusing to sell lethal drugs to the state, no debate about the exact amount of drug cocktail, none of that. But damn America, since when, see this is, I don't like this man because I think it's something very fishy about this because since when has people in America not being able to find a drug dealer. And we're talking about the state. So there's something very, very fishy about this. I don't trust it. But damn America, we got gas chambers. You got Russians, Nazis, fascism. Damn. America. No more talk. What the haters talking about?